All right. Um, I'm going to uh, go over um, accumulation and distribution, but uh, instead of using waves, I'm going to use um, a more classical uh, chart, just a plain point and figure with volume. And anybody would, you know, most charting platforms can do this. All right, you don't need to do rocket scientists to, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to detect this. All right, so we'll start right here. All right, so market goes up, right? It's going up, uptrend right here. Um, going up, and then here. You see this volume? So let's track this. The average volume is about 3,507 contracts on uh, the selling. Because this, this chart, right, the way you view it is green is buying and red is selling and that's it. Don't overcomplicate it. Uh, buying waves and selling waves. There are no real patterns other than hinges and and stuff like that. But point is, the point is, there's 3,507, which you can see in this box I have here, 3,507. That's the average. But the, the selling over there is 8,482. Again, Average is 3,507 contracts, but this selling uh, column or wave has 8,482. 8,482. That's more than double the average. That is not normal. That's not normal. And that's because this is distribution. And then it starts moving sideways and hinging in a small range, which identifies the end of distribution, and pukes. All right. So again, um, let's track this because I'm going to start doing studies on this. Uh, because remember, the markup or markdown is directly proportional to the accumulation and distribution. The accumulation distribution, the amount of it, will give you an idea of how much markup or markdown. Why? Because if they buy a lot, they're gonna piece they're gonna sell it piece by piece. They're not, you know, just gonna dump it all at once and it's gonna move price. They wanna get the best prices and that requires exiting um, piecemeal. Anyway, where the hell is uh, my goddamn show? Um, all right, so over here, this is 8,482. All right, that's how much they sold here, and then you it, it went down. After that, it's basing out. And here, what do you have on the up volume? You have 9,271. 9,271, and it's much bigger than average volume because the average volume is 3,961. Again, average volume, average up volume, which you can see in the box over here, in the green box, is 3,961. Yet the buying volume is 9,271. 9271. Alright. So what do we do? 9271. Alright. Uh, I have to do all this. All right, so now it's 9,271, and it goes up. But 
now it comes back down to test the accumulation area and this is how you know like I know it's very likely if it's gonna work out then it's gonna be a big move when it comes back down here look at how much they accumulated average is 6,815 but look at the the volume here it's 19,039 19,039. 19,000. 19,000. This time when the accumulation was done, it's not 9,000. It's not distribution like 8,000. It's 19,000 contracts. That's big accumulation. And big accumulation means big markup. Now, you won't be right all the time because it could be something else, but like I'm not looking for little outliers. This is more than double the average volume. In fact, it's more than triple the average volume. Okay, that, this not, and it's coming from a low. These are not highs, these are lows. And then it does all of this, and eventually it goes up. Okay? Now, as it, as it goes up, all of a sudden, again, you find a very heavy volume from the highs. Because obviously, like, the, this pattern is not a pattern. It's, it's the most... Uh, if you want to call it a pattern, fine. But it's the, it's a, the basic business pattern which is buy low sell high buy low sell high I mean that's you know I'm not looking for like uh, red bar green red all that shit so anyway so I'm looking for high selling you know go high and then sell 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 and over here you notice that these dudes sold the CM, CM, you know, the average is 5,382 5, contracts. And how much do they sell? Look at the look at the box over there at the bottom, the red box. So, 5,382, and they sold 11,950. Is that normal? No. It's not normal. It's exceptional. So, let's see. 5,000. What's that? 11,950. 11, 11,950. 11, 9, 5, oh. All right. Right there. Sold 11,000. Oh, I hate doing this. Pen to... Anyway, so now 11,950, that's distribution. And look, the markdown ensues. Markdown ensues. Now again, here, how much they buy? How much is the average? 5,938. But look at the buying. 22,603. Twenty-two thousand six hundred and three. Normal? Nope. Abnormal. Twenty-two six o oh, three. Again, more accumulation means more markup. Most likely. Now it doesn't happen every time, obviously, and it could fail if there's more big selling or whatever, or they set you up for a morning bounce or something, but 22,603 in this, you know, then it's a low, meaning the market is in that downtrend and that's when they buy, okay, because they, again, they're going with the, the idea that this is nothing more than an inventory business and an inventory business it's the same thing over and over again, which is buy low, sell high. 
Now you have to qualify what low and sell high, but the way I do it's just downtrend is low. You know, it's in, it's uh, relatively speaking. And there's many ways to do it. Anyway, so over here is twenty-two thousand six hundred and three, right? Oh, I gotta do this. Twenty-two thousand six hundred three. Now what happens? Oh, look at this. It goes up. Okay. Now what am I gonna wait for? I'm gonna wait for another, another bang job like this. Up here. That's it. That. This is basic trading. 101 with the basic pattern that you want to call it a pattern is fine I don't care it's buy low sell high using price and volume nothing else I haven't done any rocket scientist you know stuff all I'm doing is looking for buy low sell high and using volume now those who say that volume is not important you got to be totally 100%. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to sound rude. But understand, there's a huge, huge difference. If I use price, right? I get one, two, three, four, five boxes. Okay? And if I use price again, you know, I'm looking over here. I'm getting the same one, two, three, four, five. You know what the difference is? The up volume here is 5,800. Okay? 5,800 on the same amount of price activity. Over here on the same amount of price activity, it's 22,603. How can volume help you? it can show you that this price movement drew out only 5,000 contracts, whereas similar price movement drew out 22,000 contracts. Is there a big difference? Yeah, 400%. Okay, and this is all based on the idea of nothing more than an inventory business pattern, if you want to call it, I don't know what to call it, which is buy low, sell high. And yeah, you have to relatively define buy low and sell high. Like what is a high? What is a low? This is, these are relative. There is no, um, there's no way to say, okay, you know, if it's uh, under the second pivot or above this, above S1 or S2 or P1 or R1, R2. There's no way to do that. You know, you just have to see it uptrending and see the selling coming in or downtrending and see the buying coming in. And then analyze that because what makes me very confident is over here, some guy's buying 22,006, some group, some syndicate, Someone's, you know, they're getting 22,600 contracts. Isn't that, that's meaningful. Okay? There, this is not random, especially by doing a simple comparison with an average. Average volume. Right? It's simple. I'm not doing any uh, algorithm or anything like that. I'm just looking at the just comparing average, uh, the volume here to the average volume, and that's it. And over here, same thing. Over here, it was 11,950, you know, and after that, yeah, I want to look at the behavior after that. I want to see if it's able to make a lower low, if it's able to hold resistance, right? But uh, well, in my mind, I all I need to know is... Is this the CM selling? And I just want to align myself with those strong hands. Remember, that that's basic 101 Wyckoff 
without like a lot he did a lot of stuff you know with turning points and a lot of stuff but the basic model of a cycle is nothing more than a bunch then you know it's like an S curve where um, where it's like this um, there's your cycle there's another cycle so these areas are accumulation areas right so it's just it, accumulation then after the accumulation there's markup then after the markup there's distribution then after the distribution there's markdown then here it's a, either accumulation or reaccumulation then you know so it's just cycling up and uh, up and down forming trends right so these spots you have to be able to look at these spots and determine whether it's heavy selling or buying right now there's no way to do it in terms of law oh, look I can find this from a level well, I mean levels of interest do matter but unless the selling is there or the buying is there what is a level you know level is shit unless someone is buying or selling there so in the Wyckoff um, method what you're doing is you're looking at here and trying to detect this accumulation and distribution why because if you can spot accumulation then you can benefit from markup and if you can spot and align yourself with distribution then you can benefit from markdown that's that's it so over here as you can see there's distribution you align yourself with them and you can get the markdown and then when it starts going sideways and there's accumulation you align yourself with them and you get markup right like here you want to align yourself with these guys so you can get accumulation, you know, and then and then and then get that markup. Now this is not easy, easy as I'm making out out to be because there's a lot of um, up and down here, and you have to know how to hold your position. Like it is not easy to hold your position. If I go in here, for example. And then you see this selling wave right there, right? Like most people will get out, right? Will get out. So how do you know to hold your position? Now you can do cause and effect, but the truth is sometimes it will go to the target. Sometimes it will not. Sometimes it will overshoot. So it's it's really not easy to just get in and hold and and you know stop looking. It's actually quite difficult. I think this one was easy though. This one right here just went right there. And the reason why it's easy is because it's very, it's like uh, you know you do the cause right here. That's twelve. The effect was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is very easy. You just get the hell out when it goes to effect, right? But hey, this one was fairly easy too. But if you can hold and 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 not not like um, get out, or maybe take a partial pro partial profit, which by the way is what the CM is doing. The CM, when he accumulates a line, right? When it comes up here, when it comes into an overbought position he wants to sell the rallies so that's why you're getting these these moves because the accumulation was done here as it rallies to a, a, a decent price like uh, gets overbought he's gonna sell maybe a third of his position or half of his position or whatever he's gonna sell and then either reaccumulate or at lower price here or just wait until another group reaccumulates take it up sell take it up exit you know, so 
it, it, it's really important to look beyond the chart patterns and start paying attention um, to the basics, which is that the market, and these are Wyckoff's words, is no different than an inventory business where you buy low and sell high. And that requires, forget all the patterns, but it requires your ability to detect heavy buying you know, near when it when it's in a downtrend, and heavy selling when it's in a uptrend, to see if they're taking profits, if they're distributing or accumulating. So anyway, have a good weekend. Bye.